Hello, my name is Joe Vasta, and today we're going to talk about the Ephron dice. And there was a man named Ephron who kind of came up with this. So this is a little game. You and a friend will each choose a die and roll it. So, you know, here's a blue die here, and it really should be a cube. But the way we're going to illustrate it here on this PowerPoint is there are the six sides there. And it's kind of a weird die because two of the sides have a zero on them, and then four of the sides have fours. The green die is all threes. That's kind of a dumb die because you know before you roll it what it's going to land on. You have the red die and the orange die. So you guys each pick a die, you roll it, and the higher number wins. What is your strategy? And so lots of times when people are asked this, they think, well, let's figure out which is the most powerful die. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pit the blue die against the green die. And so when we do that, we notice that if green rolls a three and blue rolls a zero, that green is going to win that game. And so I'll color those boxes green. That means green gets the win. But if when green rolls a three and blue rolls a four, blue will win. So it looks like that. Now, it looks like blue is better than green. Blue squares here look like there's 6 times 4. It looks like 24 out of 36, which reduces to 2 thirds. So blue beats green 2 thirds of the time. We can even say blue is greater than green. Let's go ahead and look at green versus red. So we know the blue is better than green. Green versus red. Well, we can do the same analysis, and every time you have a victory, you give it the color of the die. So, for instance, green's going to beat red those times, and then red, when they roll sixes, are going to beat green. So, looks like green is greater than red green is better than red in fact green beats red two-thirds of the time so we'll use that math notation green is greater than red now blue is greater than green let's continue and we are going to put red against orange so we have red against orange we color that in and it looks like Red beats orange two-thirds of the time. Red is greater than orange. So that's really good to know. Let's get back to looking at all four of the dice. So it looks like blue is greater than green is greater than red is greater than orange. Blue beats green two-thirds of the time. Green beats red two-thirds of the time, and red beats orange two-thirds of the time. So right now it seems like we're done, and we should say the strategy is to get your hands on the blue die before your friend does. But let's just do one more comparison between orange and blue. So there's orange. I know it looks a little yellow now when I'm thinking about it, but I'll still call it orange and blue. I remember, orange was the weakest guy. Orange beats blue two-thirds of the time. What is up with that? So orange is greater than blue. So let's get back to this one here. Orange is greater than blue. 
Now in math, this upsets us when we're using numbers, like if this were a five and then a four and then a three and then a two, well, and then you'd have a five, you know, so in math, we have the transitive property of inequalities in real numbers, but with probability, that doesn't always work out. We can't say blue is greater than itself. These are non-transitive dice. Orange beats blue. So what is the strategy for this game? The strategy is to be polite. What does that mean? It means let your friend pick first. So if your friend picks the orange die, you pick the red die. You'll have a two-thirds chance of winning. And if your friend picks the red die, you pick the green die. And if your friend picks the green die, you pick the blue die. And if your friend picks the very top one, the blue die, then you just pick the orange die. Your strategy of being polite will always give you a two-thirds chance of winning if you follow this procedure. So probability can be a little strange and play tricks on your mind. These are non-transitive dice. Have a good day.